just got to a church farm, Beard Oaks. Cabins are just down that way. Um, this is where I spent a week after the prepper meet last year. There's a green 4x4 up there. Uh, we had the 9x9 there. It's very dark. And I'm parked up right up in the trees. Oh yeah, if anyone watches Rich's videos, Rich spent the night here. But he parked by the uh, the track there. But with a small car you can get through the trees. Just. So I've put it there. I'm going to put the hammock across there. And maybe a bash was a wall here for some wind. But yeah, I'm going to get set up and get some lights up. Hammocks, I'm going to set them. Literally just a bug up bag. But if I open my door up, all this wood's going to fall out. So we'll do that off camera. We know what falling wood looks like. Right, literally been here about 10 minutes. And uh, side of the box straight out. With a light on. The last few moments of uh, light before the sun went down. I'm going to try and cut these up and burn these in their gasifier. I'm going to use a gasifier as a small firebox. These are like pine battening, like you get from a Swedish furniture shop. I've got a load of them. I'm going to chop them all up, burn them. Don't need a big fire, it's just something to watch tonight while I'm here. Um, so that's this is going to be picked up. Hammock basher set up, same configuration as last week, against two trees with a porch. Uh, only the back, I've actually pinned it down to the ground. The main road is just there. <laughs> and I've tied it off to the tree at the back. I think more, more in the daytime, but I can actually sit in the hammock. I cocooned, it's a much better setup than every day. Um, car's just in front of me. The boot door opens the other way so I've got access to the boot I'm going to put a basher across here as a wall so it's like a triangle area and I can have a fire just in front of me uh, cook my dinner and uh, get me head down before setting off tomorrow for another long old drive if I didn't explain it yeah it's a very quick overnight going to a party in Northumberland and didn't fancy doing the whole drive so uh, I finished work at 6 got here for half eight so that's two and a half hours drive out of the way um get get me head down finish the drive tomorrow all right i'm gonna finish setting up and i don't want to do too much figuring because like i say there's people at the top of the woods with beard oak there's a green land rover discovery looks like it's got an off-road bumper jacked up off-road tires and i'm sure i saw signs of a fire so I don't want to be talking too much and disturbing people. And all the way down there. Anyway, yeah, you can't see anything. So I'm going to move the light, get the solar box by the hammock so I can charge my phone and stuff tonight and my handset. Um, actually, I might put the battery over there. No, which way is my head going to go? Head that way. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to get on because you can't see anything. I knew I could hear something. It's like there's uh, toads all over. I can hear them through the uh, dry leaves. She must have heard about three or four so far jumping around. I'm literally just the car's there. Here we go. Boing, boing, boing. Why, in case I stand on one now. Yeah, that's it. You hop off. Yeah, I can hear them scurrying around. That's how I'm now just wired in case I stand in one. I was sawing these up for the gasifier, but it's just too noisy because there's other people here. And they're not making noise, so I'm not going to make noise. And I was going to dig a hole, but I've just filled it back in uh, for a small fire pit. And just burn sticks 
in a small fire pit, but the ground's like concrete here, there's roots, and um, as everyone knows here, who's been here, it's full of clay. You can't dig in for the trench tool out. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get the bottom of the gasifier one, because I can't cut the sticks because it's too noisy to saw them. I'm just going to burn them in half or burn through them. I've uh, sawn up a few blocks about this big and then just gave up. It's just way too much noise. It's a public area and uh, I'm just not willing to make that much noise when they've got kids down there and so on. It's a family farm. So I'm going to get the fire going with some small bits I've chopped and then just feed it the longer bits. And then maybe the light might stay on my phone. Right, dinner's cooked. I'm gonna sit here and eat it and uh, feed the sticks in. Like a little rocket stove. But quietly, because it's gone 10 o'clock and I think everyone is asleep now. It's gone quiet. <sighs> Yummy. <laughs> My little mini fireplace. A few hours later, still going well. I've got stacks of wood left, wood scattered everywhere. Been using the um, folding shovel or sh folding spade as a rest for the wood. Just feeding it in like a rocket stove. Spotted this last night as well. I think that's owl. And it's a bit of a shell. I'm not sure about the shell. So, can't see a nest. Something's been up there. Uh, right, so there's a setup. Literally. Now it's daylight. It's a footpath up here. So I drove straight between these trees, and these trees are probably three foot across in width. So I had to sort of slalom through a little bit. And the same in there, literally just drove straight in between the trees. Um, this went up as a windbreak because last night the wind, when I first set the fire, 
the wind was coming this way and the windbreak was just about working but then the wind came from that way so I had to move the basher around because it was literally tree to tree looking neat and perfect from there to there but then the wind came from the other side so I had to move it around um, it's only a little breeze so she says but it was yeah it was starting to come in through here um, but again I needed a little fire so as you can see the basher is normal configuration that I normally do and pegged down to the floor which is the unusual thing yeah the wall basher that was literally tied to the tree but when I brought it around here to close off the gap I tied it down to there and the centre of that goes off to that tree no knots at all although I did do this thingy friction that over there and put a twig through and I did originally do it on that corner um, so this corner of the bash we had the front left top front left goes off to a tree branch and this one goes off to a wig mirror just use what you got lights up there lit up camp just fine adequate light um, can't beat carrying two bashers solar box run the light charge my phone and times seven devices while I was asleep plus I could put my cup of coffee on there um I've got a lot of tied up to because last night I was with you hello all right sorry about that um turns out the guy camping next to me sort of no met a few times while being in camping but he just walked over and said hello Literally, that's who's next door to me. If I knew that, I wouldn't have been so quiet. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, um, a waste of time. I've got up late, been chatting for like two hours. So I'm going to get packed up. But I'll have a quick coffee before I leave. So I'm going to relight this. This was just a demonstration that burnt out. I said to him, I was just doing this with a spade. So I'm going to use that wood there to get a coffee on the go because I need a coffee been up for two hours and just talking been up there um, talking cars and camping mental there's always someone you know when you come up here Right, that's, uh, Adam just left. <laughs> Didn't know his name. Just met him a few times, like I said, but yeah, just uh, said, What is your name? So, packing up now. I should have left about four hours ago, but uh, the other bloke who works here in the white van, can't remember his name, but we all met him at the Premier Meet. Uh, he came over for a chat. I am so bad with names, it's unreal. Um, spoke to him on Facebook, sat here for 20 minutes having a chat. Um, I actually thought I was going to come here, turn up late, get me head down, get up early, go. I didn't realise, but every time you come here, you bump into people. So, I'm going to get on with it and come back when I'm all tidied up and leaving, because I've got to go. But, review, that was way too much power, just handy. That was brilliant, I've used it this morning, coffee, last night, cooking, fire pit, keeping warm, watching TV, blah blah blah. Um, leftover wood, I'll take that with me and use it again. Um, yeah, getting the basher down, tarp down. Let's get out of here. Right, all packed up, ready to go. <laughs> he says, oops. <laughs> right, all packed up, ready to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, leave no trace, all right? This is unacceptable. People are hacking a tree. There's hack, lots and crosses with a knife. Hack, hack, and scratch the fuck just for sheer fun. They've obviously been sat here. They've hacked the tree to pieces. I don't know if this is showing on camera because I'm in a bit of a rush. And this, right? This isn't birch bark. It's been hacked. 
all the birks, uh, barks, just, barks peeled off all the way around you, don't go all the way around the tree. And um, poor thing, it's got sap. I thought this is wet. It's all solid. But yeah, all the trees up here have been hacked. And that one as well, state of it. Yeah, no need for it. Um, this fire pit has got broken stones. That was really bad fire pits when I was here a few years ago. I don't know if I showed that, but it was an eggshell. I can't remember if I showed that earlier. I can't remember. Being busy, busy, busy. But this place was full of fire pits, full of nails and glass. I mean, this whole area here is just full of ash from massive ground fires. Um, but I did find a pe tent peg. Every time I come here, I find tent pegs. So, leave no trace. This is my area. Very little is disturbed anyway. You can see where the gasifier has been. Tent peg in the car. It's only a gasifier. Literally an egg cup full of gas. Uh, full of coal. No nails left. Nothing broken. No tree stabs. No, no limbs cut off. Not at all. Look at this tree. Look at the fucking state of that. Why do people do it? All the way down. Uh, it's winding me up. Um, yeah, if you're watching this and you want to do a bit of wild camping or bushcraft or whatever, or even come here, please don't hack up the trees. Please clean your mess up. Like, don't leave broken bits of nails and bricks scattered everywhere. Look. You know, just kicked over the dirt. Didn't have a massive fire, didn't need a massive fire. And where I tied up my bashes, that's fine. Had my light hanging up here, fine. Had my hammock across here, fine. I didn't even disturb the ground in the first place. I didn't move everything away. I just camped on the twigs and branches. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Really quick overnight. I should have been out of here four hours ago. Um, it's about one o'clock now. I haven't got a clue what time it is. Uh, but I'm packed up. Soda boxes on charge, ready to go. Uh, I've got to do a 12 point turn to get out of here. Off camera. And that's it. Catch you the next video. Please, people, have a bit more respect for uh, the environment when you're camping. Catch you on the next video. Here comes the hand again. Fucking planes. Wow, that was close. That can't see it. Do the hand again.
I just want to see that shit. Is it going to be excitement or oh, terror? Are you looking for? You must be yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I got put in this spot now yeah. to go in there. I think I'd be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel. The old man getting out of the plane. <laughs>